Ah, good day. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the ancient Greek tragedy Medea. It was written by Euripides. I've talked about this in the lecture, but in the class that you have been watching that was filmed, the class was required to see the film of the play Medea that stars Zoe Caldwell. I'm not going to require you to see that play. Now there is a scene that I want you to look at and the URL number has been put into the syllabus on uh, YouTube. Uh, it's on YouTube and I want you to watch that. But I want to tell you a little bit now about the play Medea because it's important. It's a tragedy. It begins in Corinth. Medea married Jason, the Greek hero. They returned to uh, Corinth. They had two children. And Jason, to become the next king of Corinth, has decided to leave Medea and marry the daughter, the young daughter, of the king. Well, this does not go over too well with Medea. She is a woman scorned. She has had a, um, should we call it, a spell put upon her by the gods that has made her love Jason no matter what, and that angers her. She's a witch. She has great powers. So she decides during this play to get back at Jason. She is visited by the king who tells her she has 24 hours to leave Corinth. And that is in keeping with Greek tragedy. All plays took place within a 24-hour time period. Now, she convinces the king that she is not going to harm anyone to please let her stay 24 hours so that she can get everything ready and then leave Corinth. The king allows this, but says he'll keep a close eye on her. Medea plans her revenge. She calls for Jason to come and see her. Jason shows up. He basically threatens her that he is going to keep the children from her. She will not allow this. But she's also worried that Jason is going to kick her out of the country and she and her children have nowhere to go. She convinces Jason there is not going to be a problem. Eventually, she gathers together a number of gifts to give to the new bride. She sends her children to meet the new bride, and Jason is to convince her that everything's okay, and that the children should be allowed to stay with them. Well, this gold dress that is sent by Medea is enchanted. When the young bride puts it on, it clings to her skin and bursts into flame. When the king, Creon, tries to pull the dress off his daughter, he becomes attached to her. He cannot escape, and he too is burned to death. Medea is getting her revenge. Jason comes to see Medea. Before he arrives, she takes her two children into the house, locks the door. When Jason arrives, he talks to the chorus of women. He begs them to help him get in the house. He wonders, is Medea dead? All they can tell him is death resides in the house. The doors open magically. Medea walks out. In the palm of each hand, there is red blood. Jason asks her, what is that? She says, oh, I was pouring wine. I poured it for you. He realizes the children have been killed by Medea. He falls to the ground. He threatens to kill her, but when he raises his sword, she says, Look out, Jason. On either side of me, 
is a snake. If you try to attack me, the snake will kill you. He's left helpless. The children are lying on the top stair. Their bloody bodies are shown to Jason. And Medea tells him she's going to take the children with her, that he will spend the rest of his life in sorrow. And one day, a board from his rotting ship that's down at the harbor, the ship Argo that made him famous, a board will fall from that ship, land on his head, and kill him. Medea is revenged. The play ends. It's a very powerful story, and I like it because I think it relates well to today. You often pick up newspapers or turn on the, the television, and you'll find a husband and wife have been in a battle, and one or the other has killed the children to get back at the person that they now hate. That is why the story is still taught, and that is why I want you to know about it. And we will talk about that on the exam. So, until next time, goodbye.